Hi everyone, today I'm finally taking the gold out of the acid because I haven't done it yet. So when you put your gold in acid, thanks to the cheesecake shop, not really, this is not an ad, it's just the container I happen to have. Make sure it's plastic, there's a bit of sunlight. Make sure it's plastic and make sure it has a sealed lid. And you'll see the acid actually goes quite yellow after a while. And now we're going to get the gold out of there without burning ourselves. When you take the lid off your acid, it will smoke for a little bit. Um, just be careful not to inhale that. Please wear gloves. Don't be like me and not wear gloves. Please wear eye protection and please wear some sort of respirator if you are in an enclosed area. I'm actually outside. There's my dog doing what he does best. <laughs> And now we're going to neutralize this acid. So to neutralize the acid, you're not actually neutralizing it, but anyway, you're putting some bicarb soda in water. And put a fair bit in there. And what the bicarb does, it doesn't actually neutralize it. People will tell you that it does. It doesn't. What it does is it activates the acid to the point of being useless. It renders it useless. Always add your acid to water, never add water to acid. And that's the reaction you're going to get. The bicarb just helps that along a bit quicker. You'll see there's a bit of, I don't know if you can see that, there's a bit of steamy smoke stuff that comes off that. Don't inhale it. Alright, so now we've basically taken all the acid out of the container. Don't sit it on the floor, you don't want your dog to have a drink. I have a second container here with a bit of water in it. We just add a bit more bicarb. Give that a bit of a mix. And then we're going to tip that into here, into the gold. You'll see that it keeps on, Eddie, don't snort. You'll see it keeps on frothing up. That's okay. We're just going to tip that out. Mix our solution again and add some more. Okay. We're going to throw the lid with some acid on it into the yellow. That will go into there. Give that a mix. So now since we've tipped all of our liquid into the acid container, we're now going to tip it back into the main container. It's still got bicarb in the bottom, as you can see. Gold and all. Everything gets tipped in there. And there we go. No gold. Give that a swish. That is no longer going to hurt us. And now, time to chuck it in a pan and see what we got. Okay, now we'll chuck it in the pan. Here's a gold pan. It's not real clean, but it doesn't need to be. No more in there. Nah, she's empty. And there's our clean gold. And there she is. 